What's up y'all, it's Rob from Sweet Gaming. This video is about ranking the chapters in Red Dead Redemption 2. I know that you're all not going to agree with me. However, though, I think we can all agree that Red Dead Redemption 2 is a modern gaming classic, truly a 10 out of 10, so no matter how you would rate these chapters, we all love the game. But anyway, let's get into it and rank the chapters in Red Dead Redemption 2. Starting with number 8, which in my opinion is the worst chapter, is Epilogue Part 1. Now, of course, this marks the shift of when you go from Arthur to John, which I've never played Red Dead Redemption 1. I played Red Dead Redemption 2 first, so obviously I like Arthur a lot more. But the main thing that makes this chapter probably the worst is just the fact that it's very dull compared to the other chapters. You do a lot of farming. You do a lot of ranching. Yes, there is action kind of mixed in. Also, Abigail's very annoying. I feel bad for John and his marriage. But overall, this is my least favorite chapter. I understand there's supposed to be a change in tone because John's supposed to be becoming an honest man. And also, we're kind of getting the beginning of Red Dead 1. But at the same time, of all things considered, this is my least favorite chapter. At number seven, we have chapter one. The reason I have this one so low, even though it sets up the game beautifully, like the intro is amazing, you start learning about the characters, you're seeing their dynamic. However, though, number one, this chapter is very short. It's the shortest of all the chapters in the game. Also, it feels very much like a tutorial, which it is. So it's not too exciting. I know you have the one mission where you go after the O'Driscoll camp, but aside from that, really not too much here. So to me, this is the second worst. Next, we have chapter five, which chapter five, I liked better on my third playthrough. Kind of understand more the meaning of this. Plus it has the great line of, but you said you knew Spanish, love that line. Um, but I'm ranking this chapter at, I guess, number six, because um, I played this game to be in a Western not to be on a tropical island. Um, once you're removed from the actual mainland, all that I really want to do is go back to the mainland. The best mission on this one, in my opinion, is one where you go save Javier and it has the Spanish line in it too. But overall, the whole time while I'm playing this, all I want to do is go back to Valentine and Strawberry. At number five, we have Epilogue Part Two. Now, at least now in this part of the epilogue, there's a lot more action. Also, you have found Charles, Uncle, Sadie. So there's some bounty hunting in here, and there's members of the gang back together. Also, now you have your house. And then, of course, you have the amazing mission, American Venom, which is a great way to wrap up the game. Um, however, though, um, it's not as good as the early in-game chapter. So that's why it's going to be ranked number five. At number four, we have chapter four, which starts with the gang trying to find Jack, who has been kidnapped by Angelo Bronte, even though I wouldn't say kidnapped because Angelo, not Angelo, Jack acts like he was on a vacation the whole time and wants to stay with him. But, you know, this chapter takes place in St. Denis, which is, of course, modeled after New Orleans, and it's a very cool city to go around. You can find the vampire mission here. Um, lots of iconic missions like Country Pursuits, Revenge is a di Dish Best Eaten, and Banking the Old American Art, which that one is very, very sad. So if you played the game, this is where you lose two characters, which this is also why I rank it fourth, because as good as the chapter is, I really don't like losing those characters here. Next is chapter three, at number three. And this chapter focuses on the Braithwaites and the Greys, which is like a Romeo and Juliet-esque story within this story. Um, and centered around the city of Rhodes. I think a lot of people might put this as their number one because you have the gang fully intact until something happens to Sean. And it's definitely one of the longer chapters in the game. So a lot of good missions here. Um, you get your first bank robbery here, which that mission is so fun. Also, you have an amazing climax with the Blood Feuds mission at the end of the chapter, which I think a lot of people would say is the best mission in the game. 
I'm trying to think of reasons why it's number three, but there's really nothing wrong with this chapter at all. It's just that I prefer the two in front of it more. At number two, I have chapter two. And I think the main reason why I'm ranking it here, aside from the missions, is like when you first play this game and you get here, you are so excited to go explore everywhere. Like when you first played Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2, this is when everything truly opened up. You see how beautiful the game is. So many areas, different environments, so much to do. You're like pleasantly overwhelmed with how much you can do. And there's a lot of great missions here, like paying a social call, a quiet time, Americans at rest, blessed are the meek, pouring forth oil. Like there's a lot of great cinematic moments in the missions here. And to me, the second best chapter. At number one, I have chapter six, which of course, this is the chapter that marks the end of Arthur's story. To me, this is the best chapter because there's just so much chaos going on within the camp. Arthur doesn't trust Dutch anymore. John doesn't trust Dutch. Dutch doesn't trust them. Mike has become the number two man. When you go to the camp, you basically talk with people about how things are getting worse. You've been chased from camp to camp. Arthur knows that his time on this earth is getting close to an end so he's questioning all the choices that he's done in the game and even previously in his life then you got the drama with eagle flies and his dad like there's so much here it's so chaotic has two of my favorite missions red dead redemption and my last boy in my opinion a depending on your choices with arthur a very heroic or very bad end to one of the best gaming characters of all time. So that's why I ranked it number one. That's my ranking. I don't know if y'all agree, do you disagree? Comment below with how you would rank these chapters in Red Dead Redemption 2. If you enjoyed, make sure to follow or subscribe for more videos and live streams, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.